Okay, we're going to return to our earlier story. This is the jury in the Vernard Scanther uh, trial, murder trial, have returned a verdict. This is the 32-year-old former Dunedin doctor who's been on trial for the past three and a half weeks. He denied the charges. Um, Timothy Brown, our reporter who's been covering this case for three and a half weeks, is on the line now. Timothy, can you tell us what's happened? Uh, good evening, Lisa. Uh, Vernon Scanther has been found guilty on all counts that he faced before the court. That is one count of murdering Amber Rose Rush uh, just before midnight on February the 2nd last year, as well as four counts of threatening to kill. Those relate to the prosecution's key witness and his family. So what was the reaction in court? Um, the, the, the defendant was led away soon after that was read out while the judge thanked the jury for their service over the past three weeks. When the defendant returned, he didn't say a word. He had his head bowed, um, and he will be sentenced in March next year. What about Amber Rose Rush's family? Her mother has since died. Um, were there other family members there for the verdict? It was a packed public gallery between the family of, of Miss Rush and, of course, all the detectives and, and others who have had an interest in what what the outcome of this case was going to be. Um, some members of, of Miss Rush's family were crying as they were led into court, but they didn't make any comments in the courtroom itself. OK, so just remind us, what was the prosecution case against this former Dunedin doctor? The prosecution case was that Mr. Uh, that Scanther had a, a vendetta with Miss Rush after she threatened to go public with accusations that he was touching up minors supplying them alcohol and offering money for sex. When she threatened to go public with that information and on February the 2nd last year, he decided to confront her. He went to a, a, an address to pick up a teenage friend of his. He drove round to her course to fend home, used a spear key to enter the house and then stabbed her to death while she was in her bed. Timothy, remind us again, the sentencing is when? It will be March the 6th next year. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. That is Timothy Brown there.